Welcome back to the Smugsy Show. I'm Smugsy, your host, identifying as the Barstool Cougar. Every week we meet here on Wednesdays to talk about important things and important people. This week, the issue of the National Women's Hockey League and Barstool Sports is on the minds of everyone. It's trending, along with white supremacy and domestic terrorism. So, because I'm the Barstool Cougar, I identify as the Barstool Cougar, and because Barstool Sports' ethos is to appreciate and value people who have the courage to say what's on their mind, I'm just going to say it. The Barstool reaction to the attacks about race was over the top. It reminded me of Kirk Minahan's intern Justin's projectile vomit this week, kind of a gusher of white spooge. Yeah, that's just kind of how I would summarize all the antics in connection with NWHL gate. If you're of a certain age and you've been around the block, you know that what goes around comes around. You know that karma's a bitch. Well, I just remind you, a couple years ago, after 9-11, Dave Portnoy was caught on a video comparing Colin Kaepernick to terrorists because of the color of his skin, and he suggested that it was just kind of a natural reaction to his fear about terrorism, almost as if, you know, it was to be understood. Well, Dave, um, hello, Wall Street Journal today. Okay, Department of Homeland Security issues national terrorism alert for domestic extremists. Of course, this is on the heels of the January 6th insurrection by white ring, you know, white supremacists. Um, it's it's a real issue, and so you can't help but forgive maybe young impressionable people who are 22 years old, say, and female and black, and they see um, like really angry white guys ranting, and them making the connection. Oh angry white guy, white supremacist. So, you know, it's like the pot calling the kettle black. Dave, um, it seems to me that um, what Ben Shapiro said today about some of the liberals applies equally to the stoolies. I don't usually quote Ben Shapiro, but he said, you fragile little babies. I mean, so Barstool Sports gets called out about you know, race and um, and all these all these white guys like start beating their chests of protecting Eric and Ardini. Me thinks they doth protest too much. You know, Hamlet. Um, maybe instead of jailing the twenty-two-year-old black girl, as Dave would say, who said she didn't want money from any platform that supports white supremacists. Um, maybe instead of threatening to jail her, suggesting she should be jailed to your gazillion followers on Twitter, including all the mini fans, um, maybe you should just fire the guy who made Eric and Nardini's video. You know that really shitty video. Um, nobody could understand it. It was wasn't very creative. There wasn't any music or sound. Uh, there wasn't really a point. And um, maybe that person should be fired. And to be perfectly honest. I disagree wholeheartedly that the NWHL commissioner's statement was anything but spot on. I mean, they said there's no circumstance where it would be acceptable to essentially incite a riot on Twitter, and that's what Dave Portnoy's rant and the video could reasonably be construed as doing. You know, you can't incite a Washington, D.C. riot, and you shouldn't incite harassment online from 22-year-old young female athletes who are expressing themselves, Dave. Um, so Erica, my advice, the Cougars' advice, we came together and we just wanted to reach out, is really call off the dogs. You don't need KFC and these babies protecting you. Um, not, here's the thing, is that not everybody is bilingual like you, Erica. Not everybody speaks blowhard, you do. So you hear Laurel, they hear Yanny. Um, you hear Dave and his raising money on the Barstool Fund and doing all these good things. Um, they hear 
something else. I say invite Imal Havari on the podcast. As I said, journalists take shots at you because you're the big game. They want to embrace the issue of race, sports, and barstool. Lead them. And Dave, if you're listening, supremacist is not a word. Smug Siggy's on to something big and exciting. I'm taking Smug Siggy's public, and I'm looking for an investor. If you're interested, slide into my DMs. The logo's out this week. It's amazing, so exciting. Smug Siggy's natural, organic cannabis rolled in locally sourced paper in the pretty marigold and indigo boxes. Smug Siggy's for you, for him, for them. And that's it. That's all this week. This is Smugsy signing off. Follow me on Twitter at Smugsy Girl. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the show. And take care. I'll see you next week.